cut that off. Got your hook and your weight. In today's video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about a technique that I forgot about that I love to fish, especially for largemouth bass. Well, actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna title this video, My Favorite Way to Fish the Rage Menace. So before we talk about all this, take it out, there it is. It is the four inch Rage Menace and I did pick the bluegill color on purpose. It's one of my favorite colors. Take it out of the package and look at it. And yes, I am using new GoPro settings, so bear with me. The Rage Menace, it's a four inch grub. See that? Oh man. Break open the appendages on that. See that? It's a good little bait. Now my favorite way to fish the Rage Menace is something called a slither rig, or some people refer to it as using a punch skirt or a skirted Texas rig. Um, so here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about my favorite way to fish the Rage Menace with that slither rig. Of course, you do have your Rage Menace bait, okay? And you know, I took the hook and the weight off for demonstration and you also have to rig it. But anyway, I use a Strike King Tour grade tungsten weight, quarter ounce size, and of course the Superline EWG 3 out hook that I always talk about. So I use that. And then you will see that the skirt that I'm going to use is basically the same skirt that you get on the Hack Attack Heavy Cover Swim Jig. This is the bluegill color. So literally all I did, well, all I will do, excuse me, when I want to fish a Texas rig a different way or when I'm fishing a jig and I find that I'm always popping it free or I'm fishing it in really heavy cover, if I want to get it in there better and not get snagged all the time, I will rig the Rage Menace skirted. Uh, the punch rig, the slither rig. So why am I talking like this? There we go. That was the wrong way. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on my tungsten weight, all right? Then what I'm gonna do after the tungsten weight is go, I'm going to put on the skirt. You can tell that this has been used, blah, blah, blah. And if you're wondering, yes, I would use a bobber stop. I'll talk more about that in a minute. A bobber stop, bobber stop or even a toothpick, but I don't have one, so why did I pick up the bait? I don't have a bobber stop with me. I forgot to grab one. So I'll just tie a basic clinch knot. It's 20 pound fluorocarbon. How many times did Grandpa tell you to wrap it? I go, I do it depending on the diameter of the line. 20 pound test, I do five wraps. Eight pound test, I do six or seven. Wet the line, pull it, make sure it's tight. Scissors, cut the tag end. I never pull it from the tag end, I always pull it there. And yes, I can go over other knots in other videos, but anyway. See what I'm saying? Like, I wish I had a bobber stop on me because you can put that bobber stop there and it'll hold it. You can use a toothpick as well, but I don't really do that. But this is my favorite way to do it, okay? Is with that skirt, the slither rig. Favorite way to fish a Rage Menace. So Texas rigged, it's a Superline EWG 3 out hook. It's the hook I use for all my Texas rigs. I'll show it to you in a minute and the weight. And you will see that the three out hook does go into the Rage Menace perfectly. I wouldn't go any bigger than a three out. Two or a three out would be perfect. And after that slither rig is done, do you see that? Tell me you see that. We're gonna get up and make a cast in a minute with that. But like I said, if you're fishing heavy cover and you keep having to pop your jig free and you wanna try an alternative, try the slither rig or try putting a skirt on your Texas rig. Let's see. See that jig? It's the Hack Attack Heavy Cover Swim Jig. I know I already said it, but that's basically the same skirt that you get on this jig. It's 3 8 size. The hook, there's the hook. It's the hook I talk about in all my videos. There's the weight, Strike King Torgrade Tungsten. Gotta have it. And then two, another thing you'll see, like a Rage Craw and a couple other things, but anyway. Oh, and before we go, there is the swim jig out of the package I just grab one now the cool thing about the slither rig or a skirted Texas rig or a punch skirt whatever you want to call it is 
I originally heard about it from guys down south, and I said, you know what, I need to try it in Michigan. And this was years ago, like 2013, 14. And I, I know a lot of you guys are familiar with my channel for smallmouth bass fishing. Tubes, jerk baits, drop shots. Where's my, there's a dream shot. There's a coffee tube. Got a, yup, mega bass, jerk baits in there. But moving baits, spinner baits, chatter baits, Texas rigs, flipping and pitching. That is what I did before I ever smallmouth fished years ago. So anyway, we're gonna have to make a couple casts and look at this. Uh, like I said, this is something I think you should try. I think you're gonna like it. Um, it's a Shimano Corrado DC 741 high gear. It's 31 inches per turn. It does have 20 pound test fluorocarbon. That's what I use for my bottom bait jig, Texas rig setup. It's a seven foot two medium heavy power fast action Corrado DC, or Corrado rod, excuse me. And I've already talked about that a bunch. Um, cast it out there and I'm not gonna fish it like I would a jig or a Texas rig. I'm just gonna kind of look at it because it's been a while since I fished one of these. I haven't fished one of these in over a year. Oh yeah. Oh man, with that skirt. One-handed cast. With that skirt. See, that's the thing that I like to do. See that? That's how I like to fish my Rage Menace. Um, that was terrible. I, uh, I'll fish it as a jig or a Texas rig on the bottom. Okay? I'll cast it out there. I'll drag it slow. I'll hop it. A lot of the time when I fish that bait on the bottom, I just cast it out there, slowly dragging it. <clears throat> or I'm pitching it to a tree, something like that. But another thing that I like to do is, let's try not to get it stuck. Another thing that I like to do is I'll cast it out there and I'll swim it. And I've had instances where I'll fish a swim jig like the one I showed you and I'll just tie on this slither rig or whatever you want to call it. And sometimes you'll catch fish on that as well. Sometimes I've actually had a better experience with the skirted Texas rig than I have the swim jig. I mean, this is just something cool I wanted to show you guys show you how i rig it how i do it use a regular clinch knot i'm gonna be fishing it next year for sure it's a bluegill skirt with a bluegill rage menace can you tell like i just don't even really want ice fishing i don't even think we're gonna get ice fishing this year i mean some people did it i had hard water for a while but i think that's about it it's going to be in the 40s until spring. Well, it's going to get colder, but for like the rest of the week, it'll be in the 40s and stuff. But anyway, I'm just rambling now. Hope you guys enjoyed. And to end the video, have you ever fished this rig? Do you like it? I fished it, caught a lot of largemouth on it, and I'm going to fish it more next year. Um, I just kind of came out here to demonstrate this. I've got this video, my next monster bass video where Strike King will be taking over. Um, I can make a video about my gopro setup again got a whole bunch of stuff but like i did say i do want to make a lot of what do you call it fishing videos this year more than anything i mean the majority of my videos are fishing but my channel is like all fishing and all fishing tech that's it so anyway hope you guys enjoyed another thing too is i thought about it you know how i said i was gonna you know make fishing videos and tackle unboxings and then i had people say no we want your tackle videos we really like those so if you're wondering why i'm throwing this rig out here instead of like a jerk bait or a finesse bait like a drop shot or something like that or even a blade bait that's because i'm doing these demonstration videos because one they've been asked for two an idea comes into my head i mean 
you guys got to remember too like i have a lot of fishing videos i've got 10 of my favorite fishing videos linked in the description and six playlists and that is of course underneath the link for matt goes fishing and tokes outdoors so please check out the description if you want to see fishing videos